Um, my name is Julie Rents, and I graduated class of 2006. My major was uh, Diplomacy and International Relations. Um, my first impression of Seton Hall was just a really welcoming place. I remember for coming on campus for my freshman orientation, right away they broke us up into small groups. I met some of my friends at freshman orientation. I was friends with all the way up until graduation. Um, it really was a small hometown college feel inside of you know a large college institution. And to be able to have those friends from the get-go made me feel even more comfortable as I kind of began that crazy new experience of being a college freshman. One thing I would change about Seton Hall is the parking. <laughs> I remember my senior year I lived in Aura Manor and trying to find a parking space uh, for the 245 to 315 uh, class was a nightmare. An influential person for me during my college experience was my advisor for the School of um, Diplomacy and International Relations, Dr. Courtney Smith. Right from the get-go, he helped me develop my four-year plan. Um, he kind of guided me step-by-step step on what did I need to do in order to graduate and graduate on time. And without him, I probably would have been lost. I wouldn't have even know where to begin. But he really kind of, I guess, fathered me and mentored me along my experience. Uh, during my time at Seton Hall, I was a student ambassador, so whenever someone came on campus, I kind of gave them the runaround. We walked around campus, I pointed out all the great buildings, what happened, um, and that was a great experience because I got to talk about a place that I loved and point out special things that I knew about the campus that an outsider wouldn't have known. Um, one of them, my favorite, was always the uh, quad. How you couldn't walk around, you couldn't walk over the seal on the quad, you had to walk around it, so I always made sure to point out those kind of special pieces on campus. And then I also was involved in the Red Cross Club, and that was a great experience because we did a lot of work um, around HIV and AIDS, especially in December for the National HIV AIDS Day, and we went to a place called the Broadway House, and just getting to see Kind of the work we were doing, you know, when you're a college student, you don't always think that what you're doing matters, but to see the smile on the, the patients' faces and, and those that lived at that house, it was just a great way to kind of add a little more experience um, than just sitting in a classroom. So some of the traditions that I remember during my time at Seton Hall were, number one is never walk across uh, the seal in the middle of the quad. You always had to walk around it or else you weren't going to graduate and you'd fail out and all hell would break loose basically. So that's something that always has stuck with me. And another tradition I remember is um, having to get on the bus for each of the home basketball games, driving all the way to Continental Airlines Arena and just the feel of being in the student section, all my friends, we'd go crazy. Our favorite thing to happen would be when the band would play our special song and we'd get to yell out, hey, you suck to the opposing fans. So always a good time at a Seton Hall basketball game. Um, I think what makes Seton Hall unique is that even though it's so close to New York City and it's in a big metropolitan area, the city of South Orange kind of gives you that small hometown feel. You can walk down the block, see a friend from Seton Hall, see a neighbor, someone's gonna call out, say hi. Um, you have like a close-knit family setting, but you still have New York City just a couple minutes away and you can get that big city feel. Uh, so my friends and I, you know, on the weekends, we tried as much as we can to explore all that South Orange and New York City had to offer. So we were constantly taking the train into New York City, going shopping, going down to Little Italy, getting illegal purses in Chinatown, museums, all kinds of sights and sounds. Uh, and then sometimes on campus, we would just hang out um, on the quad, soaking up the sun when it was nice out, really just relaxing and enjoying campus. 
And of course we were always driving to the Mall of Short Hills because all the celebrities shopped there. You had all the great uh, boutiques and brand names. Um, of course, I'm proud to be a Seton Hall Pirate. Um, I work at a high school and every day I get, every chance I get, you know, I try to convince the kids of how great Seton Hall is, what a great experience I had, and how I always think fondly of my time at Seton Hall. Um, I'm a Catholic and it was really important to me that my faith continue throughout my school experience and my learning experience. Um, I teach now at a Catholic high school and I really think that some of the values and ethics and morals that Seton Hall taught me during my college experience I've been able to transfer into now my work experience and overall I feel that my faith really strengthened during my time at Seton Hall. My favorite memory of Seton Hall was graduation day. To be inside of Continental Airlines Arena, to have all of my classmates there, not only from the Whitehead School of Diplomacy and International Relations, but from all of the schools, just the noise, the excitement, anticipation, um, getting to toss my hat in the air, just a memory I'll never forget. The piece of advice that I can offer current students is just to try and experience all that Seton Hall and the surrounding area has to offer. You know, get off, off um, go on trips off campus, kind of step outside of the box, um, open up your mind to new ideas. That's what college is all about, and especially at Seton Hall, you have all of the opportunities to do that. My time at Seton Hall really began my life as I know it today. Um, it opened up my eyes to all sorts of horizons that growing up in a small town in Ohio, I don't think I ever would have realized even existed. And the friendships I made at Seton Hall are the ones that I value and treasure today.